Hey friends, Rev DMQ here. Hope you're having a good day today. Wanted to make a quick video for you, an opinion piece, a perspective piece, uh, which is a little different than, than my normal content, but I think you'll like this. I hope so. I wanted to talk today briefly about Battlefield 6 and the need for a battle royale. So stick around, let me know what you think about this content. Let me know what you think about the idea of a battle royale for Battlefield 6 or whatever it's called and the, and the ideas that I put forth here. So battle royales, I think, are a needed game mode for AAA shooters, for first person shooters, for games like Battlefield to compete on mediums like Twitch and Facebook and YouTube. I think you need BRs. I think you've got to have that game mode in the game because that's what people really enjoy watching. Like the content that people are consuming are largely BRs and it's easy to make content with a BR. It's high stress, it's high action, it's super exciting. And so it's just a game mode that people like to consume. So I think Battlefield 2021 is gonna need a BR. I think it's gonna need it. And the Battlefield community has not generally been the warmest towards a BR mode, but I think it's it's needed in the game mode. So take that as it is, whether or not you like them or not, understand that from my perspective, I think it's a needed game mode to compete in the gaming marketplace that exists now. That being said, I think Battlefield has the opportunity to be a game mode, a uh, battle royale that surpasses so many other battle royales out there. Um, the Battlefield mechanics and Firestorm uh, really are second to none. They're phenomenal. The problem is that Firestorm was behind this massive paywall. Take for granted that any battle royale needs to be free to play. Uh, it's got to be. And Firestorm was not free to play. But a lot of the mechanics developed for Firestorm have been uh, taken, implemented in other battle royales. See Warzone. Um, <clears throat> but what battle royales need is they need something special. They need a niche, something that sets them apart. So Fortnite's got its building. That's what makes Fortnite Fortnite. That's what makes it, makes it special. Um, and Warzone has the, the, the kits you can get your specific weapon loadout. And that's a very call of duty thing. That's like something you're familiar with as a call of duty player. And so that's its specific branding niche that I think makes it special. Um, Apex Legends, you have these particular characters and they each have their own abilities. And that is a very unique uh, thing to integrate into a battle royale that sets it apart from other battle royales. And truth is games like Fortnite and Apex Legends are growing in popularity again. They've got some great things in, their, in, in the game. They've got some great content that's been added to the game and they're growing in popularity again. Um, now I think Battlefield, set in a modern setting has the opportunity to be just a just a, a banger of a br um oh i should also add that pubg has its special thing which is m terrible movement that's what makes pubg special um, but i think battlefield has a real opportunity here to make a battle royale that is just absolutely phenomenal but here's the thing it's gotta be in the battlefield world it's got to play like a battlefield. It's got to feel like a battlefield. It's got to have a niche that feels like battlefield. Like Call of Duty has the, the loadouts. You can get your loadouts. That's a Call of Duty thing. Battlefield needs a battlefield thing that makes it feel like you're playing the game that you've known and loved. And so my idea for Battlefield 2021's Battle Royale is a BR Conquest mashup. Now, let me explain what I am thinking here. Call it something like Conquest Royale. But what makes Battlefield Battlefield is the objective play. It's not like Call of Duty where you're all playing TDM, uh, where it's just a spray and pray, run and gun. Battlefield is a much more strategic, much more thought provoking game in essence. And it's objective play. Not It's not all about killing the enemies. It's about who can capture the most objectives, who can out strategize the enemy. And as such, I think Battlefield needs to incorporate that mechanic into their BR because that's what makes Battlefield Battlefield. Epic scale, yes. Destruction, yes. All of those things are Battlefield and need to be incorporated into the BR. But I think you also have to have the Battlefield specific objective gameplay. That's Battlefield. And without it, it's really not, at least for us classic Battlefield gamers. 
And so here's my idea. You have a 60 person round. I think these 120, 100 person rounds for Battle Royale, I get the epic scale. I get like the huge maps and all of that. But the rounds are very long. And I think for a BR, one of the things that would make it nice is something that you can get into quicker and play a little bit faster. Um, so a 60 player round where you would have 15 four person squads, or maybe you could have uh, maybe you could have a three person squad like Apex has done. But um, that with 60 players, you can do quads, duos, trios, solos. You can do all of those if you have the player base for it. Um, and then you have a specific amount of rings. You know there are going to be specific rings in each game mode. And as a ring closes, there are control points like conquest. You have these flags that you have to capture. You have these capture points, these control points. And the game mode is that you go and capture one of these objectives. So let's say in the first ring, there are 15 squads. If there are 15 squads, let's say there are 10 objectives. And in that first ring, your squad has to capture one of those objectives. If your squad does not hold an objective at the end of the first ring, your squad is eliminated. Now your squad can be eliminated because they're all killed, but if you're not holding an objective, you're done, you're toast, your squad is over. That to me is a more battlefield style gameplay. And so you're fighting over objectives with enemies and you know that there are gonna be 10 or fewer squads left at the end of the first ring. Maybe you and your team wanna split up and two, two, uh, two players run to one squad, one objective and two other players run to another objective and try to get two to make it an even, make even fewer players. Uh, but then, uh, then maybe the second ring has five objectives in it. And so you go from 10 squads to five uh, or less maybe. And then the third ring would have two objectives in it and the fourth ring would have one objective. So you know there are gonna be four rings, maybe five if you need to have just a battle to the end there on the last objective. But the gameplay would be objective-based. You capture the objective, you hold the objective. Rather than being all about eliminating all the enemies, let's have a Battlefield style BR where you control objectives. That's what we know and love in Battlefield. And I think that would be a very unique spin on a battle royale. Um, I think that the ring, whatever it is, needs to do significant damage to eliminate storm fights. Uh, that's just not a great mechanic in a battle royale, in my opinion. I think you want to control the fight within the the boundaries. So, like what Warzone has done is great, where you really don't get a lot of fights in the ring because it's going to kill you real fast. And I think that needs to be incorporated. Um, but I think also with the objectives, if your squad captures an objective, you get a particular bonus. Uh, maybe you get better loot when after the ring closes. Maybe you get better shields. Maybe you get better weapons. Maybe there are some loot kits that show up when you control that objective when the ring closes. And I think once these objectives are captured, they can't be uncapped uh, unless your whole squad is eliminated on that objective. So if all four of your players, squad mates, all three of your squad mates, whatever it is, if they capture an objective, it can't be uncapped unless an enemy team kills all your enemies from that flag. Um, I think that would encourage more aggressive gameplay. Once you've got a flag, you can you can go and maybe try to capture another one. I also think that there needs to be a revive mechanic and maybe the revive mechanic in Battlefield 6, Battlefield 2021's BR is once the round is over and you've captured an objective, all your squad mates are back. You've captured the flag, you've got the objective, now you've got your team back, which promotes objective gameplay, which promotes PTFOing. And one of the things we need in a battlefield game is PTFOing. We need it in the BR as well. So I think there's a very special way for Battlefield to, to find a niche in the BR market that would feel like Battlefield, that would feel like you know you're playing a battlefield game but would still have the high adrenaline the the high stress the high excitement of a br that you know and love 
And I think any AAA title is, it's just got to have a BR. And I think there's a way DICE can do it right. And I think that it's so many things right with Firestorm. The problem was it was a, a, an era specific game and it was not free to play. So if DICE wants to compete in the content creator market, they need a BR. Yes, it's got to be free to play. It's got to have the classic and battlefield I, I mean, to which uh, weapon, gunplay, and the destruction, the, levolution, yeah, all that stuff. But it's also got to feel like a battlefield, and it's got to stand out in the BR market. And this is, like my, in my opinion, is what makes that. it do that. So let me know what you think. Do you think, A, should there be a BR yeah. in Battlefield 2021 or not? Um, are there any additions to what I've suggested or any changes that you would make? Leave a comment below. I'd Please. love to have a conversation about this. I'd love to, to discuss what you think should be incorporated in Battlefield's BR. So leave me a comment. Let me know down below what you think. And if you like this content, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Grace and peace.